Civil engineers might be familiar with these crucial bearings used in bridges. What's the connection between this bearing and the cube in my hand? Well, this metal cube has some moving parts and the seams of the moving parts disappear as if they are a single solid piece. The gap left by the machining is incredibly small. Such high precision machining is possible thanks to a technology called wire EDM. A mold was used to fabricate bearing on this bridge. Interestingly, this mold also was fabricated using the wire EDM process. Wire EDM is used whenever we need a tight tolerance in machining. You can achieve a tolerance as low as 2 microns. Remember, the average diameter of a human hair is 100 microns. Here is a big question. The diameter of the wire used in wire EDM generally varies from 0.1 to 0.3 mm. Using such thick wires, how can you achieve a gap of just 2 microns? In fact, these two pieces are cut from two metal pieces. During the machining process, the gap between the metals will be obviously more than 0.1 mm. After that, they take another metal and cut the inner portion with a tight tolerance. Remember, wire EDM can achieve a tolerance as low as 2 microns. You might have noticed during the first cut, they didn't cut like this. This will leave a permanent and unwanted line in the solid. Instead, they initially drilled a hole and cut the inner portion. Anyway, the inner portion has to be abandoned later. This kind of machining is known as zero tolerance machining. Wire EDM is the best method to achieve zero tolerance machining. The mold tool of the bridge bearing was also machined using the same technology. You know that when bridges are quite long, they are no longer stationary structures. We have to allow this motion, either for the temperature change or for fluctuating load. If you do not allow this motion, high internal stress can develop in the bridge. These bearings allow bridges to move. In wire EDM, a high voltage is applied between the wire and the workpiece. The workpiece has to be electrically conductive. This produces electrical sparks between the two. The machining happens without the wire touching the workpiece. To control the electric spark and cool the process, a dielectric liquid is used. Thanks to the wire EDM technology, we are able to save plenty of high precision stuff around us. See you in the next video.